a little bit skeptical about today's story. I've been told that I'm going on a behind the scenes tour of a zoo, whatever that means. For me, it just sounds a little bit too good to be true, but I'm open minded as always. Let's just see what happens. The tours run mornings and evenings at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra. Groups of up to eight can go behind the scenes and get really close to some amazing animals. Today, it's a very small group. In fact, it's just me and tour guide Trent Russell. OK, this is our um, European brown bears. They are so gorgeous. They're so cuddly. They are. They're big and cuddly. Looks can be so deceiving because these guys are similar to the well-known grizzly. The male stands eight feet tall. And so these are their night quarters. This is, this where is their night quarters, yeah. So in, in most of the, the um, enclosure areas, they usually have three or four small areas like this, which is basically just for them to sleep in. I am kind of thinking the cages seem very small, but I'm told the doors to the enclosures are left open at night. Luckily for the bears, the floors are heated. Is that luxury or what? I totally recommend this place to hibernate in next time you're in Canberra. Next stop, we dropped in on the monkeys. The tiny capuchin are originally from South America. All the enclosures are surrounded by moats so that the animals don't cross the water and, and get out. Um, anything I need to know about the monkeys? No, he'll just jump on you. Oh, yeah. OK. He likes, he likes women. OK. Keep going. Can you help me up? <laughs> oh, my God, you can't do my shot! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. It's not like mine. <laughs> now, there is one a very, 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 very important thing that you need to know about these capuchin monkeys. They get aggro when you show your teeth, which might explain why I'm not smiling. I'm not sure if you can tell by my expression, but I'm not entirely comfortable oh, with the monkeys. <laughs> when they land on you, it, um, it kind of feels like they're about to bite and scratch. And to be completely honest with you, I am hating every single moment of this. It feels quite awful. It's trying to get down my shirt! <laughs> this is a girl, actually, by the way. <laughs> yeah, OK. You all right? Yeah, yeah, cool. OK, Katrina, these are our uh, two leopards. And, I thought the uh, black one was a panther. The black one, panther is actually a, a um, I guess, a common name for a black cat. This is actually a, a genetic deformity, if you like, in the, in the colour of leopards. Sometimes they produce a black offspring. Smokey, that's the spotted one, and Zulu have lived together for 20 years. And believe it or not, they're actually twins. Do you think maybe I could feed him? Yes, you can have a go with these guys. It's, um... How come there's hair on there's that? There's hair? That well, leopard? it's it's fresh meat, so we don't uh, we don't buy it from the coals, as, you, as it were. What kind of meat is this? <laughs> this is beef, and uh, you can have a go with that. Just keep your fingers this side of the mesh. Right. And just put it good advice. Good advice. Very good advice. Yeah. Now, I must say, I am totally out of line here. Sorry, Trent. What you'd normally do is not use your fingers, but you'd use tongs, and you'd always be at a safe distance. These guys nearly have dentures. I think they're that old. <laughs> <laughs> really? The big cats are kept in these cages at night. The tiger here was rescued from the circus 10 years ago, and she'll be romping outside any second now. But before they let the cats out, there's just one more thing that I want to show you. A cat that I had never heard of until today. These are the star attraction of the zoo, aren't they? Well, these guys are, are very popular because they're, they're quite unusual. Um, this is Asta, and, uh, and he's the male. And he's one of two tigons, which we have here. Never even heard of them. Never before. even heard of a tigon. Most people haven't. If you haven't worked it out yet, a tigon's when Dad is a tiger and Mum is a lion. And he is just a little bit cute. <laughs> <laughs> timing, timing. They're all. Okay, they, so they also don't share very well. Not your average kitten. Not your average kitten. Morning, world. 
after breakfast. Time to head outside because every morning after the enclosures have been cleaned, the animals come out to run around all day in their own space. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought that one day I would be feeding a panther a drumstick or having a monkey dance on my head. And actually, I don't really ever want to experience that again. But I am so grateful that the National Zoo offers us the opportunity to have a totally different zoo experience. Zoo Venture Tours run at the National Zoo and Aquarium in Canberra. Tours cost $75 per person for groups of up to eight, and bookings are essential. Well, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's animal experience. If you'd like any information about this story, when the tours are available, or any of the stories you've seen tonight, we've got it all ready for you. Here's how you get hold of it. Log on to the Getaway website at 9msn.com.au. And while you're there, click on our hot link to this week's virtual travel site. Now, you can also get a fact sheet by writing to us at PO Box 50 Willoughby 2068, enclosing a stamped, self-addressed business size envelope. I hope you can join us again for Getaway next Thursday. See you then. Next week.